the long head is the long really head big muscle. Like the big it's this whole thing right here. And then the so this whole big long. muscle right here is the triceps brachii long head. The, um, the lateral um, head is the this one right, right here. This um, kind of thinner looking. That is the lateral side. Shown on the lateral portion of the cat right there. And the medial is going to be inside here. It's kind of a different color. I don't know if anyone can, everyone can see that. But it's a different color and it's kind of below both of these muscles that come together. So we just pry this open and right below it is the, uh, the meat, the middle, the medial. Okay, so that's, those three parts are the triceps radii. So next we have the pectoral clearest muscle. We don't have those. The cats do. This is only on cats. So this muscle covers this side. It covers the um, triceps brachii. And if you put it back together, it lies like this. Just two pieces? No, no, it's only this one. Oh. Pectoral clearest. And this is attached to the electronon, but we cut the insert of it so we can just lift it up and this covers again this overlies the triceps so then we had to cut this so this it's really thin and delicate that's the muscle right there it's unique to a cat yeah and this is only for cats um, it's just like a little thing uh, next is biceps brachii again it's below this muscle that we dissected earlier it's only this muscle right here so there should be a long head and a short head, but in cats, there's only the long head. So that's the um, biceps brachii. It's this muscle right here. Next to it, we have the brachialis on the uh, lateral side of the biceps brachii. It's a smaller looking muscle. Brachioradialis, in our dissection, we actually it actually came off with the skin, so our brachioradialis is not present here, but the insertion is down here. You can kind of see a portion of it, and it runs it runs along the brachium right here, and then connects up to here. But then again, it's really, really thin, so it came off with the skin in our dissection. That's the brachioradialis. Sensor carpal radialis. Extensor carpi radialis. So it's on the back of it here. Extensor carpi radialis. So it's on the radial side. It would be right here. This muscle that's pulling apart is the extensor carpi radialis. It's so kind of thin looking as well. And then you notice know, we have the extensor digitorum muscle group, and that's in the middle. In the dissection, we kind of split ours, but it should be together like this. So both of these bands right here is the extensor digitorum muscle group, and that's kind of in the middle of the arm. It runs and touches the digits right here, right in the middle. Again, both of these. Next we have the extensor carpi ulnaris, and that is this muscle band right here on the outside near the um, near the ulna, ulna side of the bone. Extensor retinaculum is it's around this area. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just a it's just a band. So it's around the wrist. Okay, then we have um, the pronator terrace. Pronator terrace, that one's a little hard to find, but it is. So, so this is the pulmaris longus right here, this really big, thin muscle. The pronator terrace is going to be medial to that on this side, and it kind of wraps below uh, these other bands of muscle right here. Can you see that over there? It's fine. So it's on this side of, this is the palmaris longus, on this side right here is the uh, pronator terrace. Right, this muscle right here. Okay, next we have flexor carpi, uh, flexor carpi ulnaris, again on the ulnar side. This one right here. This is the 
Yeah. yeah. All right, that's on there one more time. So it's gonna be like the sign. So yeah. Yeah. So this um, sheet of muscle right here is the flexor carpi ulnaris, and we went over this. This is pretty easy to spot. The palmaris longus connects to the digits in the middle. Flexor carpi radialis is gonna be on the radial side. It's this band right here, this top band. And last, the flexor retinaculum is, again, around the wrist, just on the side of your flexors, around the wrist right there.